I've been different. I mean, the one out thousand. I was in school, the one, but nobody actually missed. I was different, and I was the one that was annoying. A lot of the time by the teachers. I believed my bullies and say that I the world was with the problem. In that time I was very bad in coming up for myself. So the bullying don't stop. You know that uh, kids they play most of the time only alone. That not seems to fit in the group. The boy or girl that's sick is playing with a uh, one torch, playing music on the background of the school. I've not on a, a lot of friends, maybe one or two, but that's where the end. Not connect with anybody on the whole school. Dressed most of the time in black clothing. Have this own unique character. Like to read science fiction and mythology. No, most of these books of Harry Potter out his hands. Been upset with science fiction and don't be interesting in dating. Typical outcast. That's what I was. I don't belong to the groups of gothics, I don't belong to the good group of cool kids, I don't belong to the group of nerds. I belong to nobody. It was more hanging out with the teachers actually than with my classmates. I was vegan from a young age and I woke up one day that people like me look in the same way we now look on the murder of animals to the murder of animals that we look to the past and that we don't have respect anymore for the cultures peasant times that we have to learn to respect all living beings I choose compassion over industrialized violence and cruelty it is not an act of weakness to have compassion yes maybe it looked like on school, on the criminal business floor. It can cost you one promotion. You've been too much kind. But money is not 
all what make you happy. Unless you can do something with it. But what you actually make happy is the feeling that you have enough. And that you not not, not want to have more. I also was the kid that look with interesting to nature. To the insects. See how they take uh, food on their backs and bring it to their clone. It was also the kid that look with interesting on how one whole ant colon can uh, make one whole uh, bunch of ant farms on the ground also figure, uh, figure out that actually the beginning that we see of the ant colony is actually just a little bit of the whole spectrum of the ant colony there will be a lot of more under the ground. This is actually the intrade. The um, the four program the the hall the door or how you want to go it. And so also a spectacular way of building their Hives, their homes, their and places. Spectacularly ants and also other and also other insects. They are fascinated me a lot. We can learn a lot. Them. This just interesting little facets. This interesting little earthlings. I myself can personally not hold it when something is unjust. And if something is unjust, I don't make excuses for it. I be not one toy. I be not evil puppet. I always, most of the time, favored uh, logic over anything else. That time last, but still, was also now a lot of uh, interesting facts. Most likely, I don't like you. <laughs> if you uh, let me not alone, I was a, ch a kind of child and child that wants to be let alone. Actually, if I have the chance and the time, the most perfect kind of school for me was our own school. A place where I was not was bullied by my classmates. I locked me up in closets, in toilets and in dump in dump dump bags with the trash trash bags or how you want to call it 
also like to um, play with words. Can also a little bit on um, like Latins, even though I have not get Latins on school. There's a reason um, that I can uh, dissect words. And that's the reason that I despise also um, some science. For an example, in my opinion, watch my video about this also. To understand the topic better. Vivisection or animal testing is a pseudoscience. Because it has no scientific viral. Something like uh, 85% of all the uh, research be directly put back in the trash. And the uh, research that can be used for humans one day can be easily and cheaper and more humane by non-animal based testing. Computer models, uh, animal, uh, human uh, subjects, human subjects like uh, criminals, testing criminals, child molesters, or vivisection doctors that use animals. <laughs> Anything is interconnected with each other. Any plant. The plants be not sensuous in the way that a been aware, plants have, been, have no central nervous system connected to a brain, so they are being incapable of feeling pain. I find it so extremely stupid that some meat eaters use that as defense. Plants feel pain, so uh, that's also so sad. Now plants feel not pain. Plants have a kind of wave, but that is not uh, a consciousness. They are uh, be not aware. They can have no uh, pain uh, sensors like uh, animals do and humans do. They have no neurons. Or something like that. No. I've been unconscious. But it doesn't mean that we have to right to pollute it all. Because we and all the other animals, something that the other animals, the mere, more sane animals, oh no. They all know uh, that you don't uh, sh shit in the uh, waterways. They all know the laws of uh, nature. And there are also talents that humans maybe not possess. Hmm. Or have lost. Many animals can detect uh, earthquake quakes. Long before human tech can. What we got playing a time game. Let me tell, let I told you a story. The year is 2004. Remember you the uh, big tsunami that. Uh, Throughout the 
cuts the cost of um, Sri Lanka and many other nations. More than 200,000 humans die. There are no animal carcasses. All animals, if they're not being locked up, they're being escaped long before the tsunami hit. Technological, yes, humans are maybe intelligence. Morally, we've been on the same part of parasites. And with awareness, we've been on the same ground of Dinkleberries hanging on the asshole of somebody. Dinkleberry is a um, piece of shit hanging on your asshole. When you not clean yourself properly, when you have uh, go to the toilet. So how is the uh, been rushing along? Humans don't eat animals to survive. That's obvious. There have been more than 150 thousand um, vegans on the roads that have proved it. If we, even if we go to the la lowest estimates from 2% or something like that. <sighs> Awakening unit. I uh, be no born vegan. So if I already in the video explained. But my to me have make me vegan the scream of a mother cow on a dairy farm. Screaming for months for her stolen child to give him back to her. make me think the only reason that this child the cows this animals this baby cows these babies being stolen from their mother is because the dairy industry wants to sell you the milk that is made for them and after two to uh, six years Execution chamber, slaughterhouse, no exception. Any day of any second, mother cows have children that be taken from them. In the same brutal way that Nazis ripped their babies out of the arms of Jewish women. In the same way that slave masters ripped their babies out of the hands of Blacks in time of slavery. Gandhi, uh, one of the slave liberationists, see, uh, I've told many times how see have see how our children being taken from them away and put to sell to slave masters. All the narrators of the slave stories, a lot of them make also comparisons with the way they are being, uh, the way their anim the animals being treated, and the way how they are being treated. Frederick Douglass, Frederick Douglass, a lot of times uh, uh, say that his um, old master most likely not more think on him than one of the. <sighs> cows or pigs or, or animals of his stock. All living beings will want to be free. All animals be simple disenfranchised beings in search of the one thing any living being demands. Freedom. To be not a nation. Fellow prisoners of the splendor. There must come one more wiser a perhaps more spiritual way of looking to animals. The reason that we be so good at torturing each other 
is because we have practiced on the animals first. You don't can destroy the cancer if you not destroy the root. Slavery is slavery. No matter if the victims are cows, chickens, turkeys or pigs or humans, blacks, women, homosexuals, poor, no matter. It's all based on a sociopathic relationship. Oh, sorry, uh, sociopathic? <laughs> I mean, social <laughs> relationship. Lullaby. Animal agriculture is the root of all forms of oppression. There have been a lot of um, animal rights scholars that have seen uh, similarities. Uh, in the begin of animal agriculture and the begins of slavery when a lot of animal rights studies that uh, see uh, that, um, point in that direction do you know what this recognize this pattern of speech you don't count because you're stupid you don't count because you don't act like me you don't count because I like the power over you you don't count because you don't look like me you've been black you've been a woman you've been a cow you've been a pig you've been whatever the battles are in hand. discrimination in its roots is one attitude or bias in favor of somebody else's group. In other words, discrimination is discrimination. No matter if the victims are cows, pigs, blacks, women, gay, transgender, etc. Biased me a biased standpoint is that for example uh, blacks being uh, more um, uh, being stronger than uh, whites and whites being smarter than blacks or because they're being white or you mean blacks or they're or black people being uh, stronger uh, by now uh, more uh, handsome or being more kind to more mean more brutal or or white people being uh, white and therefore they deserve more rights only because they're being white or I be better because I can play guitar and therefore I deserve rights that's an arbitrary criteria or I've been good in math and therefore I deserve more rights. Or I have one science degree and therefore I deserve more rights. Or I have one historical degree, bachelor. Historical bachelor. And therefore I deserve more rights. No. they have been all arbitrary criteria. That make you not a better person or a more moral person. Or say that you have... A lot of hair. Or you mean bold. Also arbitrary criteria. That uh, don't uh, make you better than another. Or last. Understand you? If you're not being the victim. Don't imagine it entirely from your point of view. Because if you not being the victim. It becomes pretty easily. To mark and excuse you victims. Because it don't affect you. But when you being the victim. Things look a lot different from that angle man. And that's what vegans try to learn you. Because you have the power to do it. Don't mean that you have the right to do it. Place yourself for one moment in the position of the victims that have I learned
I've nothing to believe that I've been actually uh, for many viral. Maybe just the reason that make me for me so hard, so easy actually. Even for uh, narcissists, pretty hard. Understand? The pandas are in the tents by any uh, form of oppression. Evil is evil, no matter how the victim be. Picking and choosing to be to be kind or not is pure evil. Saying that you want to be nice to dogs and cats, but murder that you so euphemistically call slaughter billions and billions of uh, pigs, turkeys, and other animals. You being kind around the table, who you be not? Don't be a hypocrite. Don't make excuses. That's the reason why I've been vegan today. And that I have decided a long time ago. Sadly enough, my father uh, don't ever actually ever understand it. Or no, no. Why? Selfish prank. He always say that uh, it is not discrimination. Even it is discrimination. Discrimination, so far I've explained, is from attitudes or bias in favor of one known species or group. Yes, that's a huge group. Animal, you have the pig group, you have the human group, you have the woman group, etc. etc. Et you have the man group. That anthropocentrism, I'm fine. I'm be so fine. Oh, I'd be so happy that I know now how they've been called. That's narcissist of humanity. That are think that only their matter. When in reality, they're not matter. Not matter. Matter truly. We've been just one tiny thing in the whole of the spectrum. We have to stop with thinking that our needs be more important than the needs of all other living beings. We have to stop with that stupid, selfish, totally insane anthropocentrism mindset that all the universe, only thing, have to circle on our ego. That we've been the most important thing on this planet. It's illogical. Without bees, there's a world we not can feed ourselves. Without other pollinators. So we have when we have a land where nobody can survive. A land without uh, spiders, for example. It's a land and we have we are we have an uh, open population of uh, some kind of uh, things. This planet, for example, um, bugs, some kind of bugs, a land without protoplankton, or phytoplankton, one tiny marine species. There's a world we not can uh, breed. Awake humanity. In a lot of species, more important than we are. Simple because they are playing a vital role in the ecosystem, and we don't know. And we don't do. Yesterday, yes, this time, I call myself one biocentrist. I look anything of morality from out of perception of the earth. I place the earth in the place of God. Because, in a way, God is the earth. If you look at it from a religion, Term. Most Christian people don't worship God, the roots worship the root of all evil. Money. If they want to worship God, 
this is then worship then their creations worship the plants the earth the insects all their creations all animals all nature stop playing war live in peace don't conquer anything and think that anything belong to you God is in his creation in Genesis uh, God have created the earth the animals the, and the humans so if you murder animals humans or the earth you murdering God piece by piece God live not in a book you also don't live in a holy wall don't be so foolish to believe in fantasies this world will be most likely the only planet where you ever live as I have indeed find some planets where we can maybe live someday but if we go with this temple destroying the earth we will never and I repeat never go to that planet I mean even some ecologists environmentalists that claim that the earth only have around something like 50 years last and then we have destroyed anything on this planet we have done pollute too much the sea we have then destroyed the completely uh, rainforest and a lot of more only because of greed selfishness and gluttony if one person's love of a uh, some taste spots take over his moral judgment then we speak here of the voice of gluttony let me just call things by what they have been instead to play politician games be real I don't try to please somebody you love me or you love to hate me here I'm out when darkness and light become one the reality splintered away and the truth become visible.